Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is TDD. So recently, I interviewed a uh, guy uh, in my office. So he was telling that okay, he does TDD at work. Okay, so I asked him to write a small program. Okay, so what he did was is he wrote a Java program, and then he wrote a test case to test that Java program, and he claimed that as TDD, but that's not real TDD. So let's get started and see what is real TDD and how do people do TDD. Okay, so TDD is basically test driven development. So as the name suggests, you start writing tests first before you develop the actual code. So what we are going to do is we are going to write a small Java program. Okay, so basically we are going to start from the test and then see how how really you can write TDDs. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm going to uh, create a program for uh, testing FizzBiz. Okay, so FizzBiz is a, a game where uh, children used to play. Okay, if uh, if you tell a number which is divisible by three, okay, you have to say fizz. If the number is divisible by five, you have to say buzz. Uh, if it is neither, then you have to just say the number. Okay, that is what. So basically, what we are going to do is we are going to write a Java program for fizzbiz. Okay, and we are going to start off with a fizzbiz test. So that is what test driven development is all about. So you first write a test class. Okay, you don't write the Java class. You start off with a test class. And then you proceed further in creating your uh, main classes. So before uh, going into the uh, test, right? So we need to add JUnit. So I'm going to use JUnit 4. Okay. So if you are not familiar about what is JUnit, so JUnit is a library with which you can um, uh, library or a framework basically. So with which you can write uh, test cases in Java to test your actual code. Okay. So I'm going to just add the dependencies. So I'm going to use JUnit 4.12. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the annotation at test and then I'm going to start writing a test. So for what we need to do is first I'm going to say I'm going to test number. So I just want to uh, print a number, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new main class. So I'm going to create a new fizz bus class, right? So this class is not there. So what I do is when I start with TDD, I start with creating a test case and from there I just start the creation of main classes. So here I'm going to do the main class creation. Okay, so I'm just saying, okay, create FizzBus. For now, I'm not giving any package. So once this is done, what do I need to do? Okay, I need to play the game, right? So I'm just going to say I need to play the game. Okay, and I'm going to pass the number integer so that should be an integer right so I'm going to say in number equal to let's say one so I what I go what I do is I I create the methods from the test cases only okay so here uh, I need to make this particular play return something right so let's return a string right so for now what I will do I will return some empty string so what I do is I write a test for this so I just say number returned for now okay and I'm going to assert this guy so I'm going to say assert equals I want to check if it is one right number returned so that is what I need right so I just created a sorry number returned okay so what i did is i created a class okay from this test case and i wanted to do a play okay and i'm just passing the number one and i am checking if it is returning one so i did it should be a string so it is returning a string right so yeah so if i run this test case it should pass so that is my expectation so my my expectation out of the TDD is all the test cases should pass so if i do a refactor i need to rerun the test case and the re, uh, test case should pass but if i see that the test case is not passing it is not returning anything because in the main class what we wrote is we wrote it to return empty string that is a problem so now we need to modify this uh, main class to make that particular test uh, pass so because we wrote a test to check if it is returning a number okay and, and we expect one to be returned but it is returning empty so we have to make the main code to pass now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to a string. So I'm going to saying string dot 
value of so I have just changed it and I need to rerun the test case so this notion of modifying the main code and rerunning the test case again and again is called red green refactor so if you notice here first time when I ran the test was failed which is in red now I when I ran it did a uh, it did pass then I uh, that that's what it means so red green and refactor so I just refactor my main code to make my test pass so if you notice here this test is passing so and this is satisfying our use case right so I, I said that okay if I tell one okay you need to tell one only okay now let's write another test case so in in uh, what is the next criteria right so we need to uh, check for fizz so basically a number which is divisible by tree okay now I'm going to say again so if you notice here I'm just creating the object again instead what we can do is we can extract this out into a method right basically I can do a setup method so actually I don't have to do this here I'll just do I'll create the variable outside okay I'll create a global variable and I'll annotate it with add before I'll just create a method called a setup so that this particular method is run before each and every test so that I can create the object every time I don't have to read rewrite that code right okay so now I will do this I will just remove this piece of code so I don't have to write this again so now in this case my number is let's say I my number is 3 so because for fizz right I need 3 so now I what I will do I will do the same thing right I'll just copy stuff here but what I need is fizz so let me run the test case and see what is happening okay uh, actually it is running only the test number because I ran only that test let me run the whole test file right so if you notice here test fizz has failed because it is expecting fizz but the code is again returning 3 now what we need to do is we need to refactor the main class to make the test pass right so what I will do I know that okay I need to check if it is 3 if the number is divisible by 3 I need to do it so what I do is I can in order to make the test pass I can even do this okay if the number is equal to equal to 3 I can say fizz you can do this as well to make it pass right for now let's say we do this later on we will do whatever we need right so okay now my test is passed now let's say I want to write another test okay I say divisible by 3 so here I'm going to pass 6 and still I'm going to expect fizz okay now if I run this test case will it pass or fail it will fail obviously because we wrote the uh, main class main code to make this particular test pass but now this particular test is failing now we need to go to the main class and refactor it again to make this particular test go green okay so what we need to do is we need to check if the number divisible by 3 is equal to 0 right that is what we need so now will it pass obviously it should pass right so now we know that okay we are we have added test cases for fizz okay we have added test cases for divisible by 3 now we need to add test case for 5 right so we need to add test case for buzz basically so what I will do is I will just add a test case I will just say test buzz okay and I'm gonna say number equal to 5 I'm gonna use the same thing okay and I'm gonna expect buzz so if I run this test case is it gonna work no it is not gonna work if you notice here it did not work now I need to go to the main class and modify this same way I'm gonna add a if statement okay I'm gonna say equal to equal number equal to equal to 5 and I'm going to return buzz to make the test case pass right okay let me run this the tests are successful now I need to write another test case so same if you notice here similar to this I need to write one more for divisible by 5 so if I pass 10 will it will it pass it should pass divisible by 5 okay but if I run it it will fail right so whenever I introduce a new test my main code is failing so this is why I, I go and refactor it to make it pass so that is why we call it red green refactor 
so i just say divisible by 5 equal to equal to 0 then only you return bus so if i run this it should pass so if you notice here whatever we wrote is when we started off with the test cases okay we started off with a failing test and then we ended up in a successful test so this is how you do tdd so basically this is the real tdd so you start off with the test you write the main class later you create the main class or the methods from the test okay you make the fa test fail okay and then you go to the main class refactor the test to make it pass so that is how you really do tdd so this is what uh, um, a tdd is all about so uh, if somebody asks you what is tdd don't uh, start with writing java classes first so write uh, write with uh, start with uh, writing test classes first and then you come up with um, writing the main class so it, by this way right you will be able to easily test your class and your class will be like tested with all the scenarios so if you notice here i initially had a uh, 3 i hard coded 3 and then i realized okay if i pass 6 it was not working and then i went and refactored so by this way you will be able to identify all the corner cases when you start writing the test case itself because you are starting off your code by writing the test first and then the code later so this is a, there is a, there is another uh, way of calling it like test first approach so which is nothing nothing but the tdd approach okay so that's it for this particular video if you like the video go ahead and uh, like it if you have any doubts or some suggestions go ahead and uh, put that in the comments below if you like the channel go ahead and subscribe uh, meet you again in the next video thank you